Nathan's girl alongside Browns linebacker Jannard Avery. How does that sound? Browns linebacker Jannard Avery. Yeah, dream come true, man. Uh, I'm enjoying every moment here, man, and it's a nice feeling. So you go from Memphis now here to Cleveland, and you played on the line, you played off the ball. What is? What do you think are the strengths of your game and the reasons that the Browns wanted to make you a Cleveland Brown? You know, mainly an aggressive uh, football player. Uh, you know, they know I can play every position on the uh, field and whatnot. And, uh, you know, Greg Williams is going to put me in the best position to make plays and whatnot. So that's that. What was your first impression of Greg Williams? Oh, man, intense. Intense, man. Great guy, man. And, you know, he means a lot, uh, you know, that, that want, want to win. And that's what he's doing. So I know you were a power lifter. Yeah. I was not a power lifter. I don't know if you could have guessed that just by looking at me, but I was not a power lifter. What was the most weight you ever lifted? Oh, uh, um, I squatted like 630. Uh, I squatted 630 my senior yeah, year, so. Man. Yeah, but I don't, I don't power lift no more, so, you know, I, I, it's all about maintaining and, you know, getting it down. Do you miss that in the, the the strength training you do to kind of keep your body ready to play football? Do you miss sometimes going just crazy like that? Yeah, I do. I do. But, you know, that was one of my uh, main things I did in high school. But now, you know, I just, you know, lift weights for a purpose, you know, for, you know, to be a football player. And get out know? there so you can get after people. Last year, 22 and a half tackles for loss, eight and a half sacks. So obviously you are a playmaker. What do you love about kind of just getting in there, blowing up plays? Man, you know, making, you know, making the, the next opponent uh, pay, you know, uh, Wanting to run to the uh, run to the ball and be aggressive and do what I got to do, so you know I, I love it. Did you know all along you were going to end up being a Cleveland Brown? Uh, uh, you know what's crazy? Yeah, I did. You know that was my first uh, formal meeting uh, at the combine and whatnot. And you know the, the coaching staff they loved me, and, and that was one of, like my best meetings I've been so far. So yeah, back in my head I knew you know, man, this might be the team, and it, you know it is. I'm here now. What was it like when you kind of just walked in here, you put on your first NFL jersey, you put on the helmet to get out there and go re get ready for this rookie minicamp? Man, dream come true, man. I, I couldn't believe it, man. But every time I wake up and, you know, it's, it's here, it's reality. And now I'm taking advantage of every opportunity I get. All right, now I've talked to Austin Corbett just before you. I'm talking to you now. I watched your tape. You are a violent player. Standing here right now, you seem like a very nice guy. How do you flip that switch when you go out there between those lines? You know, be be aggressive. You know, off the field, you know, be less aggressive. That's that's the main <laughs> yeah. thing I can say. So, you know, that's that. You know, in between these lines, you know, I want to finish and get to the ball and, you know, make people pay. Uh, off the field, you know, I'm a great guy. You know, so that's that. That's that. Well, yeah. it's good. I like that. I like that dichotomy. Jannard, what's one thing you want to tell the fans of the Cleveland Browns about what they're getting in Jannard Avery? They're getting a leader, uh, a, a player that loves the game, man, that's going to see me on the field, you know, off the field being a leader, uh, you know, that loves to have fun and, you know, just want the best and, uh, you know, we're going to win, you know, games and do what we got to do. What does it mean to you to earn your stripes with what they're doing now with the helmets and everything? What's that mean to you, and what do you have to do to earn your stripes? You no, know, it means a lot. You know, uh, being being on this team, you you know, you got to be trusted. Um, so every day, I'm taking full advantage uh, of this opportunity. To, you know, that to, to learn the playbook, to to be respected in the locker room, and do what I got to do to you know win. So. All right, Jannard, thank you so much for the time. Thank you.